There is a new reality within HPD after it was revealed the department did not fully investigate nearly 10% of all criminal cases dating back to 2016. Yeah, there are questions circulating around the department regarding manpower and if there's enough of it to properly investigate all the cases that were suspended over the last eight years. Investigative reporter Mario Diaz is live in the newsroom now and Mario, the new mayor even told you he is also concerned. Yeah, John Whitmire making that point very clear to me 24 hours ago as he, along with other elected officials, spoke with KPRC2 investigates about the scandal that has Houstonians wondering how HPD is really protecting them. Do you have faith in your chief? Yes. While John Whitmire made it clear on Wednesday that he believes in Chief Troy Finner, the new mayor admits he is worried about the department having to use resources on an investigation focused on HPD suspending over 260,000 criminal investigations, including 4,000 sex assault cases, a practice Chief Finner knew of in 2021, but only started wrapping up the investigations into this practice earlier this month. When you start shifting 30, 40, 50 people for a project of this size and magnitude, uh, it's involving personnel that I think would like to be out working the streets of Houston. The shocking revelations over the last two weeks regarding HPD investigators being allowed to suspend criminal cases tied to sexual assaults, gangs, family violence, major assaults, and vehicular crimes is taxing not only for Houstonians, but also the department, according to Whitmire. It affects the police officer's morale. Let's just try that one for a second. You know, our police officers put their lives on the line by apprehending people. And then they say this is how the investigation or lack of investigation is going to be handled. So yes, I'm, I'm alarmed like all Houstonians should be. Also alarmed? City Council members. I do have a problem with the fact that this has not been addressed appropriately. Several clearly cognizant of the scandal at hand, stopping to weigh in to KPRC2 investigates after we emailed them Tuesday afternoon. We know now that it is a huge issue, it is very disappointing, and we need to take all the necessary steps uh, to correct it. As for others, they simply walked away. About, about the sexual assault situation with HPD? Some indicating they will get back to us. I can give you a comment later. Now, the one city council member Houstonians would expect to speak up is Abby Kamen because she is the immediate past chair of the city council committee on public safety. Kamen called me yesterday afternoon after we attempted to contact her. She did not have my number programmed into her telephone. And when I told her it was me calling with questions, Kamen said she was going into a meeting and then quickly hung up the phone again. She was the one that was getting back to me. Now, for a look at the other council members weighing in and those who have not weighed into this scandal, go to the investigate section of click2houston.com. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates. And